We'll talk more weather in just a couple minutes. Right now, though, we're setting things on over to Q. She's in her fitness gear on this first morning of 2007. <laughs> And the fitness guy just ran past me. All right, well, it is the first day of 2007, and with that comes New Year's resolutions. One of the biggest, of course, is to lose weight. So now you've made the decision to do it, so how do you put that plan into action? Joining me this morning is Derek DaCosta, a personal trainer and fitness instructor from Mattapoy. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. All right, now, before I get all, I don't know, ready for action, right. you want to talk about some things that people need to keep in mind before you embark on that that new fitness plan so what let's start off we have some things on the screen you say first people need to go ahead and set a goal so sure we always set a goal i want to lose 20 pounds in a week absolutely <laughs> that's the goal which is realistic okay well the goal has to have a cap on it what that what that means is you need to have a clear and accountable and, and present goal and basically what that means is you need to set a goal where uh it's going to be a short-term immediate attainable goal like a wedding a cruise, a, a reunion, and then you have to have accountability, which means you have to make that uh, promise to reach that goal to someone that you love or care about or a peer. Um, and then you want to make sure that it's a clear goal, as in something that um, you can easily achieve and have success on your side so you have momentum. So no, don't just say, I want to lose some weight. Say, I want to lose two pounds a week for the next month. Absolutely. And once you, here's the thing about reaching that goal. Um, it's easy to lose weight initially, but once you reach that goal, you have to set another goal immediately and, and strive for that. Otherwise, uh, what you get is uh, something called the astronaut syndrome. And basically, once you reach the moon, there's nowhere else to go. Mm -hmm. So if you set another goal immediately after that, now you're constantly going to be struggling and striving for the next level. All right. So let's talk about nutrition now because so many people sort of uh, just don't really follow through on nutrition right. and that's uh, not a good thing because you're basically just setting yourself back. You are and most people um, that I talk to uh, tend to only eat two, uh, one or two times a day and typically at the end of the day they usually miss breakfast and that's a big mistake. You want to make sure you keep your metabolism going by eating four to five times a day usually three or four hours apart which is going to control your insulin which controls blood sugar which in turn controls whether or not you store fat or lose fat or have energy. So in essence, when you're eating, it's like a prescription. It's going to have a uh, effect like a drug. And if you don't take your prescription, you're going to get the negative effects or side effects, as in gaining weight uh, and being lethargic. So right. it's important to schedule your meals. And speaking of scheduling, you feel you should schedule your workout as well? Absolutely. You've got to schedule your workout because if you don't schedule it, it's not going to happen. And I have something called a 30-30 principle, which means that you can either do 30 minutes a day or 30 seconds every hour on the hour. A lot of people tell me they don't have time in the day. Well, there's 168 hours in a week. If you can't find 30 seconds in an hour or 30 minutes in a day, that's going to be a problem. So I don't recommend doing uh, 30 minutes three times a, a week. I recommend doing 30 minutes seven days a week if possible, but if not, then do 30 seconds every hour throughout the day. All right. Now, the government says you should do 60 minutes a day to lose weight. So you're saying 30? I'm saying 30 minutes is minimal. If you do something called interval training, which is mm -hmm. a combination of cardiorespiratory and anaerobic training, you're going to get the benefits of uh, aerobic training as well as strength building, which is going to burn the most amount of calories. So if you have interval training, then 30 minutes would be enough. All right, let's zip to these last two because we're okay. running out of time and we want to get to working out. So okay. let's start with constant improvement. You say keep it going, right? Keep it going. you got to have that 1% rule. You always have to increase the intensity by 1% of what you can do that day. And that's something uh, based on capacity and potential. And what that means is a lot of people I talked to um, were high school athletes or college athletes. Well, that's potential and that's in the past. That's a fantasy. What can you do today? That's your capacity. So figure that out and do 1% more than that. And very quickly, peer pressure. Peer pressure. You need to have peer pressure. You need to have positive pressure from people that you love and care about because you will always do more for others than for yourself, especially the ones you care about. So if you make a promise to your family and your peers, then more than likely you're going to stick with that uh, promise. All right. Well, then let's get to it. You're going to show us some easy exercises people can do to just sort of get themselves on the path to good health. Absolutely. I'm going to show you a few exercises for the legs to start with. Uh, okay. A lot of people that I talk to, especially women, are concerned about their thighs and their buns. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to just show you three exercises right away to start with using no equipment at all except for oh. what you have in the office possibly. Okay. So the first one's going to be a chair. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to take the chair. You're going to stand behind the chair with your hands on it just like this. And from this position, you're going to do a close stand squat with the toes pointed in. And as you come up, you're simply going to just raise the leg up into like a figure skater position, bringing it back down, squatting again, 
and back up again and hold in this position. That's going to work the glutes and, and also the, uh, the back of the thighs. All right, so okay. I'm pushing up on my heels, right? That's right. Toes okay. pointed toes, in toward each other. Toes pointed there you go. in, all right. And you got to squat down. All right, now how far should you squat? You want to come up slightly before parallel to the ground. Okay. Okay, and then as you come up, you're going to bend forward and raise that leg up as high as you can. There you go. And then bring it down, squat, and then switch sides. Okay. Keeping it straight behind you. Now, if you go to the side, that's going to work the outer thigh and the gluteus medius, the top of the butt. Okay. If you go straight behind you, mm -hmm. that's going to work the maximus. Okay. Which both is so good. I can do both. It, it doesn't, okay. yeah, it doesn't matter which one you All do. Right. They're both good. I want to like trim right here. Exactly. So, okay. Exactly. Another one you can do here is using the same chair. I'm simply going to get into a tricep dip position here. Raise one leg up, stretch down, and as I come up, I'm going to do a pelvic thrust which mm -hmm. is going to work my glutes and my hamstrings at the same time. All right, I'll take your word for that. We're okay. running out of time. <laughs> All right, great. I hate those tricep right. dips, One by the way. One exercise for the abs real quick because mm -hmm. this is the most important area that people we talk have about. We like about so a minute left. Go so. ahead and lie down on your back. All right. Right. All right, great. We're basically going to do uh, the lower abs first. I want you to just lie on your back, put your legs up in the air. Okay. Both legs up. I, Both I, legs up. Well, I have, I have like <laughs> mic pads on here. All right. Okay, great. Okay. Oh, gosh, from I hate here, this angle. Okay. From here, I'm going to hold right. the legs up. From here, you're going to put Thank your you. hands in front of you, just like this, okay? okay. What you're going to do here is you're going to raise your legs up towards your hands, just like this. Into your hands. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> All right, bend your legs. Oh, because this, I have, I'm going to demonstrate the exercise. I have equipment back here, so yep. this is like killing me. Okay. All right. All righty. Let's, let's try that again. Let's try it again. Okay. okay. So Put back, the legs up, yep, knees okay. bent, knees bent, knees bent okay. there you go, good. And from here, with the hands up in front of you, okay, uh -huh. what you're going to do is you're going to come up and put both arms on this side of the leg oh. as you crunch, and okay. put your hands actually into your thigh and push into your thigh, good. Okay. And back down, and up again on this side and pushing in. Right. Now what that does is she gets a concentric action, and as she's pushing her arms into her thigh, she's creating isometric pressure, which is actually going to recruit yes. more of the abs with a regular crunch, okay? So okay. you're going to do the oh, five or six of those. Five or se only five or six. Okay, <laughs> right. how long do you hold? Just one count? Just about one to two seconds. Okay. And then up and down again. Whew. Okay. All right. All right, good. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. So knees bent here. I'm going to be the anchor. You're just going to do a sit up. And what I want you to do here is, I'm just going to hold your feet. Hands okay. in front of you just like this. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to come up. And as you come up, I want you to put that elbow across this knee. Like that? Just like that. Okay. Good. Now I'm actually going to ask you push your elbow into your thigh as you crunch. This one? That's okay. it, good. Again, creating that isometric pressure. And just I should let the um, producer know that my IFB is out, so if you're giving me time cues, I can't hear them, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> so. All, right. All right, so the idea here is when you're doing exercises for the abs, if you can recruit two or three different types of contractions at the same time, that's going to benefit you a lot more in the same amount of time that you would with just minor pulses and crunches. Okay, okay? how many of those? Uh, you want to do probably about 15 to 20 repetitions or whatever would rate um, an 8 out of a 10 on your rate of exertion, and that's called an RPE scale. So whatever you feel like is a 10, you want to go to a 7.5 to an 8. Okay. Okay, so you All need right. to... Uh, do we have any more sure. time? Sure. Another minute. One more okay. minute. Okay. All right, great. Oh, so we're going to recruit Jane now? Let's, get, let's right. get Jane in here. One of the most beneficial ways to work out is to do something called I'm interval training. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'll remember that, yes. Jane. Put my, it's called my interval training. Okay. And one of the quickest ways to do interval training is uh, cardio kickboxing, which All is right. very popular now. Um, there's a class kick. that I teach. It's called KickFit. This is the actual oh, official KickFit pad. And what Jane's going to be doing here is he's going to be holding the pad just like this. And I'm going to have Q put on these gloves very quickly. So she doesn't so hurt I don't her hurt hands. Jean? Oh, okay. Well, you don't hurt your hands more. Oh, okay. Least. I can hurt Jean, just don't hurt you my hands. You can hurt Jean, just not All your right. hands. All right, exactly. All right. Oh, your thumbs in thumb in Perfect. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a hook punch. And uh, Q's taken this before. So all I want you to do is stand with your mm -hmm. legs in a horse stance, just like this. Yeah. Like this. Like okay. Legs wide. There you go. Okay. Get a little closer. All right, good. Now you're just going to do a hook punch left okay. and right, right through the pad. As hard hit as it. you can. You hit it. Hard as you hit can. It. There you Come go. On. That's it. Let all oh, that frustration. Oh, oh. Years of frustration. Oh. Years of frustration. Oh, is it? No, I <laughs> nailed the thing. Okay, we're double yeah, timing now, Q. Double time it. Double time it? That's it. There we go. Oh. Finish strong. Come on. Make it hurt. Make it hurt. You know what's great about this? That it really engages your abs. It does. It actively works the obliques and the abs at the same time. Hit it. Hit so there's more right. than one way to work the abs. This is one way to do it. The other way is on the floor by isolating it. Let's do a, uh, an uppercut. So okay. Turn that pad just like this. Okay. Right. Just go right up. Right at, the, right at the center. Uppercut. There you go. That's it. And then you She's really get the hips nice in it, too. Yeah. That wouldn't hurt a fly, Q. Come on. <laughs> Take the chin out. That's it. Come on. Come on. Cut me I, I like his motivational. 
Ouch. Me and Rocky Seven. I broke a nail. <laughs> All right, nice. Okay. Very nice. Excellent. Thank you. And if people Good want job. more information, they Me? can visit our website, myfoxboston.com, and we will link you to Derek's site, which is Kick Fit. That's K I K F I T. K I K. Fit. Dot com. That's right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Q. Hoo ya! We'll be right back.